Hello everyone and welcome back to Age of Wonders. Let's get this turn finished by resting these guys. Oh, and our scouts, of course, yes. This is the he- no. There's the hero. That's the guy we need to keep track of. Okay, so you would just check mark. I'll check mark you. Ah. You just stay put. Okay. So our Poison Mastery has now been researched, which is pretty darn cool. The central seven hexes of all cities on the map are visible to the caster. Whoa! No way! Wow, yeah, okay. I think I'll take that. Let's see, what can we grab on this hero here? Plus one lightning strike, okay. Stunning touch is okay. 20% spirit protection could be useful. Well, all these things could be useful. Ooh, this actually could be really good. We can use her as a ranged attack, or melee, obviously, to stun a unit out of its defensive ability. Hmm. Then we also have all these cool spells, but I think this could be really useful. Boom, go and do it. It's done. It's done. Okay, Beep Jun. Beep Jun, you're going to be on merchandise production for a little while. Light Doctors. Probably make the most sense to have them with our succubus army. We'll put one there. The other one will go, I guess, here. Actually, move back. Move you up. Okay. The hero has moved to just right there. All right, let's fly you over here. We need to keep eyes on. We'll fly you into this mountain range. Try to make sure that we do not lose sight of this person. And let's take out these carrion birds, since we have the holy champion. And we may be able to test out the whole stunning thing. Probably not, though. They can probably fly far enough to get to us. We'll see. They can't! Okay, cool. Very good. Alright, so they have 100% Blight Protection, they have Spirit Weakness, yes, and Frost Protection, Blight Damage, Life Steal. Okay. So she should have Inflict Stun, right? Also phased because of her Handy Dandy Unicorn. So many abilities. Um, inflict Stun, okay. Let's switch to this. Range penalty. Melee attack. We could get a lot more damage off. And not really receive that much in return. I think this is an okay move. Well. Actually. Hold on. Let me try to move up one see if the range penalty is gone. Okay, that's actually better. Let's do this. Plus, that's three different times to stun them, right? And none of those did. I did read this right, correct? Can cause the target to be stunned. Okay, well, out of three strikes, none of them stunned. That's unfortunate. But this bird only has 17 hit points left. This would definitely kill it. Hmm. Alright, let's do this. There we go. 
Assassins can do their little old assassin strike. Okay. Now obviously this is not going to do any flanking or anything because it's in defensive. <laughs> but I like having the rock behind them. Okay, now we move you up. Let's see how much this does. 12 points. Fireball. If it does minimal damage, would still kill them barely. So let's just finish them off with this fireball. Alright. Now let's move on to this one. We will fly... Just right here. Nice level up. And then... Oh, this guy doesn't get charge damage, it looks like. Huh, okay. You know what? I did not even read what this was. Okay, that one. Well, that's all we can do. Damn. Okay, that's unfortunate. Darn. Our wyverns are falling. Poor guys. Ooh. An epic weapon. Plus two melee strength and units melee attacks deal two blight damage. And a unicorn sire. Well, we'll actually... Let's ship that off to Lucian, as well as the dagger. Cool. Two skewers and that guy. Sure. Looks like we have a Beholder up there. Alright, let's try this whole stunning thing again. 44% chance to be stunned. Oh, were they immune to stunning effects? I think they were. Those carrion birds. Damn, I didn't think about that. Nice! That was considered flanking? Oh, because they're stunned. Oh, I didn't know that all attacks would be flanking. So that means all attacks are also backstabbing. Oh my god. That is insane. Oh my goodness. Stun is so good. Go figure. Okay. Well, this should be enough to kill them. Let's move right up there. We use your assassin strike on these guys. Approach them from this direction. Okay. Probably should hit them with this guy first to lower their defense. Whoops. But oh well. It works out in the end. They're gonna hit my hellhounds. They're not. Get stunned. Oh well. Wow. Yeah, stunning is even better with my with you know a rogue hero considering a lot of my units have backstab. Good god, that is so much more brutal than I even thought it would be. Hmm. Okay. So it looks like we could probably get a city up here. Knowing that... 
How much does that, that cost? 135? <laughs> really? We're... Uh, okay. It's unfortunate. Now, would I want another Goblin City or, or a Draconian City? Probably a Goblin City. Goblin, goblin units are the only ones I'm really using, other than just my rogue stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm not a huge fan of the Draconians so far. The Flying Soldier's kind of cool, but I also have, through the rogue abilities, I have the Shadow Stalker, who also flies, who, who's also better. So, that kind of cancels the need out for them, I think. So, yeah, we'll probably grab a Goblin Settler from here. Right, and I can also build trebuchets. How much are those? 150. Okay. Definitely am going to need some of those. I forgot I built that there. Alright, so Lucian, what do we want to give you? You're going to be getting a dagger that increases your melee damage, so armor piercing, I think I will grab for you. First strike could probably also be good. Stunning touch. Oh, yeah, no. do you have the option to... Not stunning touch, but just stunning. No, not yet. Taunt. Attack the nearest unit with their melee attack for three turns. Hmm. Let's do... Melee strength. Get this guy really powerful in melee. Okay, another upgrade. The charged army, spirit shield. So what is all this? Static shield. Every time an enemy unit performs a melee attack against this unit, the enemy receives 5 shock damage and has a chance to be stunned. Okay. Units within a 1 hex radius around the target are dealt all types of damage. Wow. Chain lightning. 18 shock damage to target enemy unit if jumps up to 4 times if they are within 3 or less hexes. Wow, these spells. Oh my god. God. What? Jeez. Let's grab the chain. Do I even have that many spell points on her? Do I have 25? I think I only have 20. Oh, I have 30. Okay. Sure. Chain lightning. Grab that. That sounds pretty awesome. All right, let's get you... Oh, no. Whoops, because you need to collect the boots that I'm making there. Okay, Shadow Stalker, let's send you over here. You're going to be part of the army going abroad. That's fine to make another Shadow Stalker. Again, let's move you over here. Go to Metropolis. That's fine. Okay. Alright, so that gives us the Gold Wyvern. So what's special about you? I'm not seeing you yet. Oh, it's dedicated to good. Melee Strike and does spiritual damage. Okay, has true sight. Charge, my control immunity. Fire Blight, protection. Frost weakness, only 20%. That is pretty cool. Hmm. Okay. So then I would want to grab a golden lair to get the golden dragons. That's what I'd probably try to save up for. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's first check on the enemy hero. Oh boy. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Well... Crap. Okay. Let's do revolt. On this city? Can I not? That one works. 
this city must be protected by something? Because I can't target it. Alright. Hmm. Production, production. Oh, you know what? You guys will make the goblin settler. That's fine. For right now, just make the merchandise. We'll put that on repeat for right now. And I have never fought one of these things before. Tier three doom gaze, an attack against our resistance. That thing is that's pretty. Okay. All right, it's eye. It's out of its socket. Put that back in, please. Thank you. Attempts to petrify target enemy unit. They cannot take any action for two turns, and they suffer six physical, ten spiritual damage. And that is a ranged attack. Hmm. Has no weakness. That's pretty scary. That is pretty scary. <laughs> Do I engage right now? The other units aren't scary at all. But that thing is. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Uh oh. Oh no. So they all have static shield and I have a 20% weakness. Well, the thing attacked. If I can get in range, I can maybe set up some flanks. If my wyvern can fly far enough. That will be good enough to get a flank with this guy. So let's see. I attack with the wyvern, get him looking this way, flank, attack with her to get him facing back. Ah, that's not going to work. Attack him with the... Hmm. Well, let's open this up with the wyvern. Actually, let's open this up with spells. So these guys have static shield. I'm assuming this is going to give them a shock resistance. No. It's just the melee and touch attack. Okay. Oh, they're affected by that too? Oh, okay. So they do have a weakness to shock. I thought I just assumed it would only affect me. That says all enemy units. Hmm. Alright, so spell, yes. Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning is a go. It's kind of open for like an actual lightning to go and streak, but that's okay. I guess. Move up. This Frost Wyvern is probably going to die. Did I hit him with the Frost? I don't think so. Okay, do your Assassin Strike Backstab. For insane damage. Goodbye. Um. Yeah, that wyvern's dead. The thing is, I can attack him, but then I may be stunned. Hmm, I don't think it's really worth it. I'm just going to move this guy over here and defend him. Yep. Ouch. Okay. Hmm. That's kind of sucks. She does do shock bolts. Huh. Not going to work against him. It will work against him, though. Plus, he'll just straight up die if I charge. Uh, 
Those guys are stunned. They're stunned. Okay. How about a fireball? Has a chance to kill. Let's try it. Very good. Alright, so you kill them. You kill that. So all the wyverns are dead. That's okay, though. They died for a cause. And that was to make my hero stronger. As well as my assassins. Now you guys will head back. I should probably get you some more units now. Really hoping they would move some of these people. It's not looking likely. But we're just going to sit here. My main attack is going to come from this guy. Alright, so let's grab the item. I accidentally moved the entire army stack there. Whoops. So we just need three more units and then this guy's good to go. Yeah, I think I want to change that. So that now frees up 228 gold. Let's start construction on a trebuchet. Festival of Magic. Collected 90 mana. Thanks. Speaking about mana. Time to get this going. And that should be it. Cat spell. And that now affects everybody, yes? Wow, I actually have a lot of stuff up. All infantry cavalry in the rig. Yes, okay, cool. Very good. Oh! Auto combat. Oh, they won. Okay, Shadow Stalker, let's get you across here to this guy. That's gonna be a pretty strong army, I think. An army of Shadow Stalkers. Uh, what's their weakness? Spirits? Oh no, they have no weakness. Excellent. Too bad they're not irregulars. But oh well, they're really good. As far as production goes... Hmm, I kind of want to save up for that dragon lair, so I think I'll just do merchandise. Congratulations, you guys are a town. Rest. And they dispelled my inside revolt. Okay. Down. Okay. So he is walking on water. Great. Let's see. Still trying to find his hero, but nah. That guy's gone. Undefended? No way. <laughs> I could take this over with the crow. I see no reason not to. Wow. Wow. Okay. And this is Draconian? Let's absorb. See if he can hold on to it that long. 
that's the case, let us do a summon hellhound spell. And you know what? Let's get you moving even faster. I can't believe they weren't defending that. Oh boy. That's like a pirate base or something. Ugh. That's not good. Potentially not good. Alright, so that's going to do it for this episode. I think taking over a city with a crow is a fitting end to an episode. So thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you next time when I try to get some reinforcements down here. And I'm hoping that by starting an attack down here, the AI will move some of their armies out of this city. And then I'll move my armies in and take that and so on and so forth. So, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.